If you come to Solstice and you're looking for a wine and you can't find it here, uh, it's going to be very hard pressed to find anywhere else. Wine is about enjoying the moment and enjoying that piece of history that they've made. It's a little piece of art uh, and uh, it's something that should be enjoyed and treasured every day. I tend to pick a wine about the, you know, usually around what food I'm having or, or the climate I'm in or the, the people I'm around and that usually dictates what I drink. Pansir foie gras in a bed of tomato confiture with the dark gruyere and the ginger sauce. Please enjoy. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Cheers. A traditional pairing with the foie gras, Peace mm -hmm. Portagot of Jan Riesling Spätleser, which is uh, slightly sweet. It's uh, a kind of like a late harvest, but not as sweet as a late harvest. It goes very well with the foie gras here. Thank you. Enjoy. When you coat your palate with salt, it's going to reduce the acidity and it's actually going to bring out more fruit in the wine, fruit characteristics, while, while a, a very, very crisp, dry wine the fruit characteristics are kind of hidden underneath the acidity. The salt will actually bring the fruit characteristics up, bring the acidity down. We find ourselves in the wine tower in Grand Epernay, and basically what we have here is a structured two-level wine tower that holds about approximately 2,800 labels. It's a big task to take on so many different varietals of wine. We have from literally all over the world, we're trying to capture everybody's taste we're able to get a good selection, you know, whether you look at Tuscan Grohl, and then of course our wine tower, and then we have Morano, where we actually have our temperature controlled wine room, where we will have all the Latours, all the Petrus, uh, we have the Chateau Margaux, and a few selections of, you know, the really high end uh, uh, New World wines. The white Bordeaux, the grape variety is Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. The best food pairings are the pairings that actually resemble the region and the wine from where it's from. Those are the best, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. So Ludemer, Mediterranean sea bass, white Bordeaux. The Sauvignon Blanc with the Semillon combined with the fish is really good. Excellent balance between the acidity of the wine, the mildness of the fish, and the complexity and the spices from the entire compulsion here in the plate. We have cellar masters on the ship, and they're in charge to make sure they do, you know, concise inventory of every single wine that we have. What we have here is the uh, wine preservation and serving system. It allows our guests to serve themselves and gives them the opportunity to try wines that perhaps they wouldn't have the opportunity to try before. The red wines basically have more tannins, so that's why you will see most of the time the red wine glass a bit larger and having more room inside so we can swirl the wine to let it get in contact with the oxygen so the wine can release that aromas to soften the wine to make it more pleasant on the palate as well. And when the tannins flow into your, your palate, instead of bonding with your saliva, they bond with what you've put in your mouth, the, you know, the fat or the salt. So that way your mouth stays more moist. So when you're, when you're tasting the wine, you tend to have less of a drying sensation in your palate. So you tend, it tends to bring out the fruit characteristic of the wine, which right. is usually a pleasant experience yeah. with, with tannic wines, mm -hmm. yes. Crust of Rock of Lamb. Garnish with the sundry tomato and the lamb juice. Please, bon appetit. Thank you. Thank you. The lamp is just melting in the mouth. Yeah, and the earth tones coming through in the Syrah are working well. The gaminess of the lamb, very good. Well, Syrah is a very thick skin grape, like its uh, cousin, the Cabernet. Mm. But we tend to get more of that um, uh, blueberry jam type fruit to go along with that tannic structure. That's why the Australian Sir Shiraz is are just a perfect uh, polarity of, of structure and bright, bright fruit. Mm. And uh, that's why they're getting such great scores. Mm. Yeah. If you tilt your glass, you will see the shape that the wine takes into the glass inside. So basically you will see that this wine will go more or less, uh, you will experience more the tannins and the complexity of the wine. You will have it as a longer aftertaste on the back of the palate, so you will have more the, the tannins. And uh, that's why this glass is called the tannin tamer. It's a fantastic, fantastic glass, and if you put a Pinot Noir inside, the fruits will be out, but you will feel the harshness and the tannins that are not that much present into the Pinot, but they will be present in this glass. 
the infinity of it all that really has drawn me to it. It's the fact that no matter how much information we gain, we'll never have it all. There's always another vintage, another lot, another blend. You'll never ever gain it all.